The Vital Statistics column in Economic Review, September 2014, set you a little task uh, to calculate some percentage changes. This is an important calculation that you may often need to make. And this brief video is just going to talk you through the results that you should have got. So the task was to take data in the table and calculate the annual percentage change on consumer expenditure and on investment. Let's look at one sample calculation and we'll think about the percentage change in household consumption expenditure between 2005 and 2006. From the table you'll see that uh, consumption in 2005 was 912.6 billion and in 2006 it was 928.8 billion. So how do we calculate the percentage change from 2005 to 2006? Well, the formula is simply this. Percentage change was 100 multiplied by the change 928.8 minus 912.6 divided by the amount of consumption in the base period 912.6. Notice we can uh, ignore the billions here and notice that when you calculate a percentage change you always do so relative to the starting position and not the final position. So this particular calculation works out as 100 multiplied by 16.2 which is the difference between 928.8 and 912.6 divided by 912.6 which is 1.77% and I've just rounded to two decimal places. So looking at the whole period, uh, these are the results that you should have come up with for the percentage change in consumption and the percentage change in a gross fixed capital formation uh, or investment. You were also asked to plot these against time. I've done this on the graph here uh, using PowerPoint to do so. And this draws attention to the uh, significant pattern of changes through time, in particular the impact of the recession on investment which fell substantially in 2008 and even more in 2009. The recovery uh, has clearly been rather slow. But that's how you should have carried out your calculations. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.